Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tone, with the news, updates, trends, and analysis. Before I do start, guys, all I want to say is, what's going on with Tesla? What's going on? <laughs> Just lost like a few hundred dollars, guys. Pretty down. But you know what? We lose some, we make some. And at the end of the day, we just got to keep going. Because you know what? The losses are always going to be the losses. Just put it on the tab and keep it going. And I'll be back. Tesla, I mean, I don't know. The reason I'm actually going to speak about Tesla is because of Elon Musk. SpaceX Starship launches. And that's an interesting move for humankind. And I believe we're in steps and we're getting, we're getting near space traveling, guys. I believe that we're going to be at least space traveling as tourists by 2026, 2027, maybe 2028. By 2030, most of us should have been already into space, at least in the, you know, at least to see that it's round and not flat. <laughs> That's a good one, right? But the flat earthers are about to really feel the pain because right now it's not really on demand because AI is the demand. But I'm going to tell you guys, space is going to be the demand very soon in these coming years. Right now is the, the creation, the root of everything. Like everybody, like Virgin Galactic, Tesla, Blue Origin, NASA. You feel me? Even NASA is working on things that are crazy. NASA's privately owned, and you know what's crazy? And I recently found out NASA owns the pyramids. That is insane, guys. It's intense stuff. Um, but yeah, SpaceX Starship launches, and I really want to see if I could find a video actually of it. Uh, I was supposed to actually watch it live, but yesterday I got home late. One of my friends wanted to go to the gym, and it just didn't. And then, oh, and then he actually uh talks about party we went to this like bar and i don't know guys like all right uh okay this is the one we're just gonna see the video hold up you fix this i had to actually re-upload again that's why i probably missing the, the video Look at that. That is not it, guys. Let me find like this is the space that's beautiful wow look how massive it is beautiful but if you really think about it it looks like a regular rocket you know like just skinnier and slimmer <laughs> because the rockets were so massive back then. Right. Big tub. <laughs> Let's see, I want to see a launch. Damn, wow, it looks so cool. All right, look at the ocean, how beautiful, right? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh,
Interesting. Very interesting. Let me see if they got more. So I want to see. Oh, man. This is what I want to see, too. That's Florida. Damn, we didn't see it. Wow, it's gonna go out of the back. Yeah, yeah. Interesting guys, that one was interesting and uh It's it's looking very modern, for real. Like we're back, like the Starship look very modern and uh, very nice. That that part did blow up, but that part is not where the humans will be. That part is it always comes off. Even in the old times, you remember when it would just separate. Well, that's what it is. I don't know. I really like the Virgin Galactic uh, way of launching. I don't know if you guys seen it before. If not, look into it. Just put Virgin Galactic launching and you'll see how interesting it is. So it's a regular plane, right? A big plane, though. It's massive. That carries this little jet plane looking plane. Let me see if I find it. It's beautiful, actually. Okay, so, so this is the big plane. You see the big plane, this right here? Let me see if I could make it bigger. See this right here? This is the plane. This is one plane. There's actually two people. There's one person here and one person here. And then this is the actual space plane so what they do is they take off and this detaches and the boosters here it was like this wow Man, guys i don't know what it is but i believe virgin galactic is the future um even though that thing destroyed my pockets guys i lost five thousand dollars with virgin galactic a lot of money but i put in early that's the problem guys when you put in early you could lose like right now nobody cares about virgin galactic or space or spacex like yeah i mean i'm not gonna say nobody because i'm here talking about it but not everybody is involved and most of the people are not involved in space travel, but it's definitely a thing. And I lost a lot of money in it. And I guess I, I was just too starstruck, too starstruck. Because in the end of the day, I was just like, space? That's the future. Who's going to tell me space is not the future? It's the future, guys. It's the future. And best believe it's going to be worth a lot of money. But sometimes, you know, things are, it's not the time. It wasn't, it wasn't the time. And I literally bought a stock at $50. And you guys want to know where it's at? It's at a dollar. This is why I tell you guys, I am not a financial advisor. I am a person that studies the market, take wins and take losses. I literally just took a loss yesterday of 160. How much was it? 
$132, guys, I lost yesterday. Not much, but I took it like a man. And, and I'm going to keep going. But, guys, make sure that you get into the space in the future. I'm not financially advising you, but the space is the future. Now I have to go and recover those $130. And I'm going to trade again, see what happens. Very scary. And the thing is, you want to know something crazy? Like today... When I woke up, I put a, a close call, right? Like a call to close my, my bet to lose only like $68. And it decided to go up when the stock market opened. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, whoa, this is it. This is cool. It's going back up. About to make money. Tell me how that stock tanked in less than a minute from 171 no, 170 to 165, guys. I got completely wrecked. And I still had to tomorrow to actually see if I close the contract tomorrow, but it's just not worth it, guys. I think I just took my L of $130 and I kept it moving. But just be careful with the trades. I'm not a financial advisor. Every time I advise you guys to do something, it's not advising. It's just me telling you what I'm doing. And if you guys like what I'm doing, do your own research. I'm I'm pretty much there. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much there to knowing what's good and what's bad. But you can't become such a, I, I don't know how to say the word, but, you know, like be careful when you trade you know because it, it's a scary thing um but yeah guys uh if you guys like these videos actually let me read an article i did pull up this article let's see what it's saying spacex starship notches major flight test milestones breaks breaks up over indian ocean in final moments SpaceX launched third test flight of its Starship rocket on Thursday and reached space as the company pushed development of the Mammoth vehicle past new milestones. Elon Musk company launched Starship at about 9.25 a.m. Eastern Time from its Starbase facility near Boca Chica, Texas. The rocket flew further than previous tests with the flight lasting about an hour before Starship broke up above the Indian Ocean. The company noted that the vehicle did not splash down in the water, which was intended ending of the flight. We have lost Ship 28, SpaceX communications manager Don Halt said on the company's webcast. The flight represents a significant step toward SpaceX completing prototype testing and beginning operational Starship launches. Musk congratulated his company in a post shortly after launch, announcing that Starship reached orbital velocity. NASA chief Bill Nelson also congratulated SpaceX on a successful test flight. I don't want to read the rest. Let me see. Oh, no, I don't want to read the rest because it's just comments. Comments of if you want to pause and stop the video, you could do it. But, oh, actually, I didn't even show you, huh? Oh, let me see. I'm going to show you guys right now. This is what I'm reading, guys. If you guys want to pause the video, pause the video and, you know, read whatever you guys want to read. I'm sorry about that. But, SpaceX, uh, very interesting. It looks like Elon Musk is taking the L on one thing and going up on the other thing, and uh, that's what a boss do. That man is a boss. He's a beast. He's amazing, to be honest. And I appreciate Elon Musk uh, for a lot of things that he does and says. Uh, even if you're against him, it's my own opinions. Uh, you know, we're all humans at the end of the day, and we should all be able to make mistakes 
and we all have flaws and you know always try to become the best version of yourself and don't hurt people love one another show teach learn and love one another protect our women uh etc thank you guys so much if you like these videos please give it a thumbs up show it to your friends your family your pets everybody that comes in your contact just show them the video let them know who i am let them know that i bring opportunities and give you guys more knowledge for you guys to advance and move to the next level thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next video